All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it. It seems like this hanging on your kind heart. Please don't let him die now. Please. There is something I want you to understand, Mrs. Williams. We have rules and regulations guiding this hospital. It will not be possible. You have to deposit your money complete so we can commence treatment else. My hands are tight. In what are you trying to do? I'm Why are you covering my face? What? Losing myself <laughs> in this <laughs> cause. Nadi. Uh, Nadi. This mountain, fountain, this time is counting. You can go, 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 go. Go, 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 go down, down. This mountain. <laughs> You're wondering what is going on. I know that you're wondering why we have you, your husband, and your daughter on the siege. I'll tell you. It's because of you. My wife and I were terribly sorry for the pain that we caused you. Deep down from our hearts, we're sorry. You took my child. You took my child away from me. And now you want yours? No way. Us. What is my game? Um, Nothing! But I'm supposed to save lives first. And I chose to abide by the rules and regulations guiding the four walls of the hospital. Now what is my game? I'm supposed to save lives. I killed. I killed this child. Now my daughter's life. I'm feeling strange. All right, so today we're going to talk about the healthcare system in Nigeria and we're going to use the movie Pains of Love. So as you guys can see in the movie, essentially they needed her to make a deposit, a deposit that she couldn't afford. Now, because of that, they don't start treatment. Uh, if anybody has went to the hospital in Nigeria, it's kind of almost like the same path. They want you to make a deposit and based on if you're able to make that deposit, then they will commence treatment now the problem with that is that essentially when the family member or the person that brought the person to the hospital cannot raise that deposit then it's like they're leaving them and their god to deal with the sickness see this is not correct uh, western world is a little different if it's an emergency and somebody's dying they first of all treat you after treating you then they'll deal with the payment now of course, there's a big chance the person doesn't have the money to pay. So at that point, they get to make some sort of payment arrangement that even the treated person can handle. In the case of Nigeria, it's different. It's different in the sense that they are not even giving the person that's dying the chance to repay his debt if he makes it alive so they don't get to treat you and of course based on that you stand a bigger chance of not surviving i'm not exactly sure how we should tackle this because on one side all the hospitals have the same policy no treatment until deposit is made well almost all the hospitals maybe not all of them but the big problem is that the sick person who is really the person that their life is at stake does not get a chance to make a deposit because in most cases they are not even conscious and even if they are conscious in most cases they are not able to do anything for themselves so here we come to how so how can we solve this problem now there's two aspects the first aspect is something that I feel like is still coming up in Nigeria, which is the medical insurance business. You know, with medical insurance, people are able to insure their health. In that way, if you get to a point where you have to get hospitalized, you do have some sort of insurance that is, you know, raising their hand on your behalf and saying, yeah, we got him. Proceed with treatment. So that's the first thing that I feel that has to be incorporated. Now, I've heard that this has actually started, but in most cases, that is, you know, only people with, you know, good paying jobs that could afford it, or maybe only certain companies can afford it for their employees. So we need to get this to a situation where 
everybody can afford to at least be paying some sort of minimum premium every month to ensure that any time that they get sick, that they have an insurance company that's backing them. The second option is to have some sort of government assistance. This government assistance is going to be able to pledge or demand, just like subsidizing. They are going to be able to pledge that they will support any hospital that admits such a patient. And what happens is when the patient is treated, the patient will first get to make the payment. If they don't, then the government would, you know, put up some sort of, you know, subsidy to help the, the hospital, you know, bear the burden of the unpaid payment. That's definitely a viable option. Many economies in the Western world have applied that and it does work. The third option is for the government to work with all these government hospitals. You know, in that way, they put up this you know regulation whereby a hospital, as long as it's a government hospital, must treat the patient first, especially if it's an emergency, prior to demanding payment. Now, this would definitely help you know, all these people that do not have the money to put down or maybe people that may have money, but, you know, it's in their bank account and they are now in an emergency room, so they can't even access their money. But it gives them a chance of getting treated first before the payment part is now brought up. As you guys can see in the movie, she lost her loved one. And it wasn't because the hospital could not do anything. It's because the hospital was going by their policy that they would not start treatment until a deposit is made. Now, this deposit, of course, was too hard for her to come up with. And as you guys can see, the patient never made it. Sometimes you will look back at these deposits that they are requesting. And, you know, it's 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. You know, and yeah, in some cases it's higher, you know, a million. But the truth is that when you really look back and wonder, was this 20,000 that this patient couldn't bring or their family member couldn't bring? Is it really worth the hospital letting the person die without treatment? I don't think so. In the future, somebody's going to look back and wonder why 50,000 was why they lost their mother or their brother or you know somebody that's dead to them so i really think that the nigerian government should do something you know maybe private institutions might you know have to incorporate something about you know the medical insurance system you know if it's the government then maybe they should focus on finding some hospitals in every state that must attend to patients regardless of uh, if they made the payment or if they didn't make a payment. You know, that's it for this one, guys. You know, if you love this kind of content, please subscribe, follow, like, share. Uh, once again, this is CJ from Magnetic Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.